Hey guys, it's Retro, and I just want to apologize firstly that it's been so long since my last upload for this series. It's been about a week, usually. Uh, well, for this series, I've been trying to get them out every two days. Um, the reason for that is just real life and work's gotten in the way. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, so, what I've done is completely sorted the load order, the plugins on the right into the correct order, which will mean that they'll load properly and you won't have anything that is funky. Funky is the nicest way to say it. Um, and also if it's in the correct load order, it loads faster and things like that. It doesn't take so long to uh, boot up, which is quite nice. It's very minimal, but <laughs> every little helps. And it also makes it more stable. There's just so many more reasons why you need to sort your load order out. <clears throat> so for this video, before I even show you the load order, um, I will have a link in the description to this guide that I used, which is sort of like, the best load order guide I can find that's quite concise. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bad throat. COVID. And so why I'm linking this is so that as you, as I imagine many of you are, as you're done with my list, you're probably going to want to go off into the world and add other things. Now this will give you a good indicator of where to put those plugins in their load order. Now, on the left, this is your mod pane by here. This does not signify the actual uh, order in which the plugins will load. On the right, you need to go into the plugins window and drag them around yourself. Once again, before we even get into that and I show you what the order is, um, just a brief forewarning. There will be, I don't know, maybe four or five mods that aren't in your list that are in mine, that's just because I'm always chopping and changing. Um, so if you see anything that you don't recognize, ignore it. I've tried to uninstall the majority of things that I can't remember being in the last video. Um, but there are still a few, just such as all good, just because it takes me so long to process that, that I just wanted to <laughs> just wanted to leave it on, basically. Um, and also when I'm jumping in and testing things, I like to leave certain things on as well, because it just makes it a bit easier for me. Okay. <clears throat> So firstly, go to the one mod in the description. Um, I was going to put about three or four of these in here, but I just thought we'll have one that is, you know, essential. And then the others, people can recommend in the comments or you can head over to the Discord. Um, there are always people recommending really interesting mods in there every day. So the only mod for today is going to be SSE FPS Stabilizer, which should help with things like you know, you spin the camera around because someone shoots an arrow over your shoulder, you look in that direction. The engine has a f absolute fit and it tanks your FPS by about 20. So hopefully that helps with that, get that. And drag that up to your utilities. Now, before we go over the load order, we've got the alternate conversation camera. We're going to change the settings on this a little bit just to make it a bit more I don't know, I don't want to say cinematic because that's so pretentious, but cinematic. So what you want to do is right click on alternate conversation camera. At the bottom in that pane, it'll say open an explorer. Click on that. This is going to bring up the folder for alternate conversation camera. Now you have skse and meta.ini. Click on skse, plugins, and you'll have two two files here. You want the alternate conversation camera dot INI. Double click on that to bring that up. Now there are two settings here we want to change. Uh, where is it? Force camera to first person is off. Force camera to third person is on by default. So what that means is when you're in first person and you're talking to somebody, the camera will automatically snap out of first person and into third person. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the one here, B force third person equals one to zero. And we're going to come down here a little bit and it's going to say, where is it? Enable letter box or black bars while in conversation. Now this is on by default, as we can see, because one equals on, zero equals off and B letter box equals one. So we're going to highlight that and replace it with zero. Now, there are some other settings here. We're not going to worry about that. <clears throat> File, save, close. Excellent. Now, 
let's go over to the plugins pane in the right side and let's and let's reorganize these okay so the very first thing you know what to do is drag anything that is .esm to the top of your plugin load order just below dragonborn.esm then drag any of your bald ESPs up to just below the ESMs. Now, using the guide as a reference, I have tried or strived to include at the top overhauls, UI mods, race mods. Didn't include any perk mods because uh, I would recommend Ordinator, but that's a bit more... Um, I would not consider that Vanilla Plus. That's just sort of complete overhaul to the perks UI mods are in there as well like immersive HUD I HUD then if you go down we've got weather mods missions such as missives OBIS then the weather mods the lighting then we have landscapes and outdoor textures things that add certain things to outdoor areas such as chests and treasures we have the weapon packs scoped bows we have the armor sets now what i will say ah, oh, i made a bit of a scrub maneuver um when we installed the nord war ua armors for things like ebony we put them before uh the amidian textures in our left pane. So what we need to do is quickly go over to the left pane and shift click and move those to below the Midian texture mods. That way the ebony armor will be the ebony armor from Project Nordway UA. And what you should now do is reinstall a Midian Book of Silence armors without selecting any ebony variants because otherwise it's just a dead ESP or a dead plugin. Okay, so after all the item mods, I have my follower mod there, follower framework. More to say, that's a mod. I don't think I included that. Oh, 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 this is a bit gung ho. Also, relationship dialogue overhaul. If that hasn't been in a previous video, that will now be a, a mod to download, and this is where it fits in. Ta da! Um, more to say is from another mod as well. It just means that people just chat constantly, but it's varied, which is quite enjoyable for me. Uh, right, smelt down, dragon collections. This is an animation mod. Don't worry about this. Dual wheel parry. Yeah, yeah. This is all. So these four here are mine. Um, not mine, but they're not for you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Then we have the enchanting mods and some of the texture mods and then as we go further down we have things like beards uh bodies hairs and all that good stuff and then at the bottom any mod or any esp that has the word patch in it i load last so this is the end of the series i hope that this series has helped so many new to modern get into it and i hope that maybe it's de-stigmatized some of those scary aspects of modding such as messing around with the, the nemesis engine or using body slide and custom body sets sorry if this seems a bit rushed i recorded the first part of this video during my lunch break and <laughs> the end of the video this part is being recorded after work so i'm no longer stressing and flapping around like a chicken trying to get it done uh, I've had a lot of fun making this series. I definitely do more mod tutorials in the future. Um, I always quite like the idea of doing a 30 minute video where I just show people as I'm playing um, on the left of the screen, maybe a list of mods and go through them and just sort of talk about what they do as there's gameplay of that mod list in use. Um, that really appeals to me. So that might happen at some point for now. I'm going to continue with having a blast with Skyrim, Fallout. I'm going to get a bit more into... I started playing Valheim the other day. That was a laugh. Um, before I start going on about myself, if you've liked this video or this series, can you please give me a thumbs up and maybe a cookie in the comments? 
thank you so much for watching. It was a lot of fun putting this list together and bringing some new bodies over into the Discord, meeting some new people. It's been really good. Um, if you're going to jump into the Discord and ask for help with modding stuff, please, <laughs> please direct it into the modding channel for Skyrim on the Discord and make sure you slap the ham on the way in. Because if you don't slap the ham, then you don't get the role that lets you comment on any channels. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. If you're still watching at this point, God. <laughs> God, I must be doing something right. Um, maybe check out... Oh, God, I tell you what I'd love to recommend to people. Some of the ropey Let's Plays that I started doing um, about a year ago when I started the channel. Uh, I didn't finish any of them, but fuck. Some of those are ropey. <laughs> uh Yes, yeah, so maybe check some of those out. My Resident Evil 2 Let's Play is only about seven episodes, and it's basically just me screaming and screeching the whole way through. Oh boy. Peace.